The National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, and the Marine Police are searching for some workers of an oil processing plant in Tema Newtown who jumped into a lagoon to avoid lynching. Many homes and property were destroyed after a downpour in parts of Accra. Deputy Director General of NADMO in charge of operations, Abu Ramadan, says that his team is pumping water from the homes of many residents in parts of Accra as a result of the flooding. Whilst they are evacuating water from people's homes, we are, we are taking, doing the assessment to look at the, to assess the extent properly. So I can't give you any figure for now. Were there any casualties? Uh, so far, no. Uh, we've not since last night. We've not received any uh, any news of casualties. And all the men we've deployed, there was no no uh, human lives lost. It's just uh, in in one community around the Tema area where yesterday the, the community people felt new the, the, the source of oil processing. Yeah, I, I do. I don't want to call it a refinery, but something of that sort within the Tema uh, new town area where the community felt it is that uh, installation that had caused the flood within the community, and they went there charge on the on the company. There was some altercation this morning. The people went back there to charge on the community again. But then uh, shortly after, the, the workers from the from the factory, in, in their quest to escape for their lives, some ended up in the, the lagoon, and uh, search and rescue is currently underway. Search is underway together with the, uh, not more together with the marine police. We are conducting search currently, as I'm talking to you, to find to find those persons who, who, who could not swim out of the, the lagoon. 